Hey, welcome to our van tour. My name's Krista, and with my husband Brian, we built this van build in 13 months together while working full time. It's a Ford Transit 2020 extended length, tall height, with the 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine. Her name's Essie, which is short for Escargo because we bring our house with us everywhere we go, just like snails. Come on in and I'll give you a tour. This is the cab of the vehicle. It's really comfortable for driving. And we've got this big screen here, which is awesome. We hook up our phones to it and we can have our Google Maps on here, podcasts, music, everything. Okay, now let's switch to house mode. Turn these chairs around. Welcome to the home part of our van build. At the entranceway here, you'll see we built an entrance step and we also built a little shoe storage area right here where I can store my sandals. Here's our home. So right here we have the kitchen and over here we have our living room. So why don't you come on in and I'll show you everything in the living space. Okay, I'm gonna close the door because it's cold out. Welcome to our living room. So we installed the Scopama swivel seats onto the base of our seats. And we created this transition step so that it felt like the house really extended into the cab of the vehicle. It's really nice to spin these seats around and be able to look in the back of the van, watch whoever's making you dinner and we can comfortably spend time here with four people. Moving over here into the living space, this is our kitchen table and it's our office desk. So we got a slab of live edge wood from my brother and we made it into the table surface. We then got the lagoon table mount arm and we can move this table around so we can move it forward and backwards we can also turn it all the way around. And then we can have it lengthwise. So we find we like this orientation when we're both working on our laptops together. This is our second row of seating. We installed a two seater that was originally from a Ford Transit passenger van. We really wanted this seat to have seat belts so that when we drive passengers, they can buckle in. And look out the view. We installed this big, beautiful window ourselves. It's a CR Lawrence window, and you can open up the two small panels at the bottom. And then we built this wood frame out of cedar to go around. For aesthetic and storage reasons, we decided to build a base around the bottom of this bench seat. Between the legs of the bench seat, we have this storage drawer that holds our heavy items like nut butter and canned goods. Over here, we have a air intake for our Webasto heater. And we put in an AC plug so we can plug in our laptop chargers and also a DC plug so we could plug in USB charging cables here. Above our heads, we have overhead cabinet storage with undermount LED lighting. In here, we keep some dry food, some snacks, our potatoes and onions in this basket. And we installed uh, soft clothes. These are from Home Depot and struts so that the cabinet door would stay up when you lift it. Brian got creative with this side part of the cabinet. So we put it on an angle so there wouldn't be a edge here we could hit our heads on. And inside we've got our flour, our blender, and on all of our overhead cabinets, we have these push button latches so that when you push them in, it's locked and you can't open it and it won't fly open when you're driving. And of course, we needed to add some greenery. Welcome to our galley kitchen. We have our sink here close to the bed and our stove with oven here close to the door for extra ventilation if we want it. We're really happy with our undermount sink. We got a bigger size and it fits a lot of dishes and it's really easy to do the dishes. This is our big tap water faucet. We love it. And this little faucet is our drinking water faucet. So this runs through a filter and a UV purifier. So we know our drinking water is always safe. 
And then this is our soap dispenser. We didn't want to have anything on the counter because of course it would fly off when driving. So we're really happy we put this soap dispenser in. We also installed a cloth holder so we hang our dishcloths here. And we built this wall so that any splatter from doing dishes or cooking didn't get into our bed. And it works. I wiped off the splatter earlier. We have an AC outlet here so we can plug in our blender. And we added this beautiful sticker tile to just give it that really nice look. Up here we attached the mason jar lids to the bottom of the cabinet so we could screw some spices into here. Bay leaves. <laughs> Underneath our overhead cabinet here we have two LED lights and this cabinet also stores food. We have spices and tea on the top shelf and then we have some other dry food like oats and nuts and even some honey up here. We have another little plant shelf here where we found these tiny little pots to fit our little plants. Here we have our propane stove by Suburban. It has three burners and an oven that can fit our full-size cast iron pan. To make our kitchen feel bigger, we added an extension to our countertop, which is made out of butcher block that we ordered from Home Depot. We pull it up, click it into place. Our kitchen storage is below the oven. We put in three drawers, one for our utensils, one for our dishes, cups, and one for our pots and pans. All of our drawers have this style of latch. It's a pull latch, so when you pull it, the latch disappears, and when you let go, it pops back up. Behind our bench seat, there was this really awkward triangular space that we couldn't use, so one day I decided to build a drawer behind this seat so we could store some items in it. So here it is. Pulls out from behind the seats, and on the top row we've got spices, and the bottom row we've got oil, wine, vinegar. And this is our little latch for this one. I'm really proud of that drawer. <laughs> Below our spice rack drawer we have our air output. So we have a heating duct and then a grate to send the air into our living space. Underneath the sink we have our grey water tanks and under here we have our garbage drawer. We thought it would be really nice and easy to be able to chop here and just sweep our scraps into our garbage. For circulation of air, we have a max air fan that we love. It's electric, so when you press on, it can go fast. Listen to this. <laughs> the final part of our kitchen is our refrigerator. Brian's favorite part. I covered it with pine tongue and groove so that the front looked more homey and it exists right here underneath our bed. We learned the hard way how important that fridge latch is. <laughs> Brian slammed on the brakes one day and a bunch of our food went flying forward. So use a latch if you have it. <laughs> Okay, we're ready to move on to one of our favorite spots in the van, our full height wet bath. We have a nature's head composting toilet in here and a hot water shower with its own fan so that when we shower or hang up wet gear, all the moisture can go up through the fan. This is our Nautilus retractable self-cleaning door. It cleans itself in its own little canister here and we love having a little bit of privacy when we live in a van with our spouse. We put this sticker tile throughout the entire shower. So surprisingly, this is not real tile, it's sticker to keep it lighter and it was really easy to apply. When we shower, we usually sit on the toilet because we can leave the toilet in here and we can have the shower head up here, wash your hair or move it around to wash your body. 
behind the tile sticker is Prova board, which we got from Home Depot. And they also make this niche out of the board, so we were able to add that for all of our storage, which is great. For the bathroom floor, we had a custom shower pan made for us by a metal fabricator. I then built this wooden trivet so that we'd have somewhere nice to stand on when in the shower. This is our small round max fan. You push this button, push it open, and then you start it here. Our floor is really well insulated. We have insulation, then plywood, and in this section we added an electrical floor heater, and then we have laminate floor on top. For our van build, it was really important to us that we could fit our skis underneath our bed, so we needed to go with a fixed bed, and it needed to be lengthwise in the van. Also, that's helpful because Brian's six foot tall, so he can lie in bed comfortably. I'm up in our double size bed now. We extended these overhead cabinets all the way down the back for clothing storage. And this mattress is super comfortable. We definitely knew we wanted a comfortable mattress. In this cabinet, we have jackets and first aid kit. In this one, I've got my socks, underwear, bras, scarves. And in this one, Brian has his socks and underwear and extra jackets. Okay, come check out this side here. Behind here, we have our electrical panel. So I already mentioned before that we have AC and DC electrical. We have our inverter control, shore power, AC panel, heater control, battery charge status, and a propane valve controller. And this is our DC panel. We love being able to control everything from in the van house itself. Okay, this is a pretty unique part of our van. We wanted somewhere we could actually hang clothes. So this is our closet. We have a bunch of clothes on hangers here and we have a little bit more storage beneath that. And then back here we have the rest of our clothing. My clothes on this side, Brian's on this side dirty laundry down here, and then extra layers of clothes down there. We chose the height of our bed so that we could actually hang out up here and make it into a bit of a couch. The other seats are pretty comfortable, but it's nice to have a spot up here that we can just hang out and relax when we're done work for the day. So that's why we got these big pillows. And that's also why we made this wall nice and smooth. <sighs> that is good. Over here we added a sliding CR Lawrence window so that we could get cross breeze in the summer, but it's also really nice to be able to look outside when we're in bed. Over here we added a little storage shelf. We have our e-readers stored in here now, and we also have a USB outlet, so we have charging cables for our phones and other devices. Up here we built this continuous piece of wood to cover the metal and we made it into a little bookshelf. This bookshelf is on this side so it's Brian's and this bookshelf is mine. Over here is my bedside table with another plant. And we added some twinkly lights <laughs> to make it cozy. Our lights are all on dimmer switches in four different zones. Bedroom, bathroom, both and overhead and under cabinet. All right, it's time to check out the garage. On the rear of our van, we have rear racks by Illuminous with two storage bins that were fabricated for us that hold extra parts and propane. Inside is our garage. Our garage is all the space underneath our fixed bed. On this side, we have our 600 amp hours of lithium batteries and our water pump and our water heater. We also have my guitar and a couple other things. Our vacuum, of course. 
this big drawer is how we've decided to store our gear. So this drawer slides out and we have our skis hooked onto the side with these hooks and we have baskets on the side so we can dry out gear when it's wet. And then on this side, we have our water. So we have a 20 gallon freshwater tank that goes over our rear wheel well. And we have a few extra things like our backpacks. And then of course, behind this drawer is where our fridge is. Here's the drawer pulled out part way. Here you can see our skis on the hooks. And this is an extra special addition, boot dryers. You can tell we love skiing. Inside the drawer, we have clear storage bins for all of our hiking and skiing and mountaineering gear. One of the coolest parts of this drawer is that we have a subfloor and underneath we have our mountaineering gear like ice axes and ice screws so that they won't go anywhere if we ever got into an accident. Right here is our input for filling up our water tank. So we click our hose to this and then it fills up our water tank. This is our rooftop patio, thanks to our roof rack by Illuminous. As you can see, we don't have anything up here right now, just two holes for our two fans. But we did wire it so we can add solar panels if we choose to later. But for now, we hang out up here, exercise up here, and we love it. It's so fun up here, it feels so high up. Here's Brian, he was the one behind the camera the whole time. Hey everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching our van tour. We are so glad that we could show you around the van. If you have any questions at all, let us know in the comments. We would love to answer them. See you later. Bye.